Hi, and welcome back to this week's weekly focus. We have had four new focuses this week. We have learned about two of those focuses. Today is day three, so we're gonna learn about the third one. On day one, we learned about the letter J. J says J, J, good job. On day two, we learned about the number five. And remember, that's how it looks in a tens frame. And my dog blue is five. Woohoo! Today, we are learning about a shape. And you know what? A couple weeks ago, we learned about a square. Do you remember? Squares look like this. They have a line down, line across, line up, and the line that meets. Well, today we are learning about a shape that's kind of like a square, but it's not. It's different. So I'm going to erase the square because we want to kind of forget about that today. But do you remember how many sides the square has? Hmm, should we draw it one more time? Okay, so let's count. There's one, two, three, four. There are four sides to a square. So that is important to remember because the, the shape that we are learning about today also has four sides. It is a rectangle. A rectangle has four sides, just like a square, but it's different. A rectangle has two short sides and two long sides. I know, it's different. Whereas a square has four sides that are all the same. Crazy, huh? So, we are going to practice drawing a rectangle a lot because it's different than a square. And I want you to see if you can find rectangles. Do you know paper is usually a rectangle? It has two long sides and two short sides. Yeah, wow, my cell phone is a rectangle. I think most cell phones are rectangles. So when we draw a rectangle, we need how many long sides? You're right, two. How many short sides? Two. Wait a second, but I said we had four sides. So does two plus two equal four? It does. Whoa. Okay, so we need to draw. Should we start with our short side? Yeah. So a little line down, a big line across, a little line up, and a big line to meet our first line. Okay, good job. Okay, so now we're gonna try it with our finger a couple of ways, and then we'll go back to the board. So draw a little line down, big line across, little line up, and big line to meet our first line. Did you do it? Awesome, okay, use your whole arm this time. Little line, big line, little line, big line. Good job. Okay, should we do an itty bitty one? I think so. Job. Okay, so get your marker out again. Erase your board. Can't erase it with the marker. You gotta erase it with the eraser. I know, that was kind of confusing. So get your marker, uncap it, draw, little line, big line, little line, big line, and you have a rectangle. Awesome job today. Keep learning.